today I'm reviewing the La Roche Posay Lipicare Triple Repair Body Moisturizing Cream for Dry Skin. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste time to sponsor ads or videos. So if that's something you're into, like, subscribe, share the video, check out my newsletter, check out my Patreon community, or click on the links below. Okay, so uh, I want to say I've repurchased this product before, and uh, I like this packaging. It came in an echo tube, but now when I looked at it, it comes in a different tube now. So they say, even in the description, that packaging may differ. So keep that in mind. I like this one because it was... Uh, less packaging, less plastic, nice uh, reuse, reusable paper and things like that. So, um, Okay, so they say La Roche-Posay Lipicare Triple Repair Body Moisturizing Cream intensely hydrates to relieve dry and extra dry skin. Then they say packaging may vary. It's prebiotic face and body moisturizer. It provides 48-hour hydration, replenishes the skin's essential lipids, daily relief for dry to very dry skin for face, body, cream, and body and hands. Very rich, comforting cream. They say with a non-greasy, non-sticky finish, but I beg to differ strongly on that. They say also offers prebiotic benefits to help rebalance the skin microbiome with a high concentration of their thermal water. And I, I'll get to the ease of use and things like that in a second. So, um, Okay, my first criteria is packaging. This is the Eco Tube. It's very minimal. And usually on packaging, you see like a lot of extra plastic here. They didn't use that. It almost looks like it's... The first time I checked this out on the store, I almost thought it was like missing part of it or somebody had ripped the bottom off or something, but nope, that's the eco-conscious packaging. In terms of denature drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. It's also fragrance-free and has no noticeable scent to it. The manufacturing location for this one is France, uh, so no issues with that. So ease of use. It is very, 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 very sticky after you apply it. It is very sticky for the first day. Uh, it certainly does hydrate for a couple days, so sometimes in the winter... I will, uh, every other night, I'll wash my hair and things like that, so. Okay, so, uh, ease of use. So, I will say, it is very, very, very sticky. They say it's not sticky. It is. It is very tacky. Um, so, when I use this one, I typically use it after showering at night. And, uh, if I apply this alone, a little bit does not go a long way. However, uh, what I've found is I apply this over a light serum. So, currently, the serum I'm using is the Costa Baja HA Serum, and I mixed a little bit of copper peptides in this, so I'll apply a super light layer of this over my skin, and then a little bit of this tends to go a long way and does the trick. It's a little bit more high maintenance, but I love copper peptides. I love having them in my stuff, so uh, this is my way of getting copper peptides. It wouldn't mix well with this because it's so thick. Um, anyway, so let me get see if I can get a little bit out because I know this is at the bottom of the barrel. Empty. It's almost empty. And you definitely don't want to dispense too much onto my hands. Okay, there we go. So, there we go. Really sticky texture. Uh, does feel nice on skin. Does massage. Uh, so, for the first 8 to 10 hours after applying this, it does feel extremely tacky. It tends to go away towards the end of the day. And I will say, I applied this when I was having a migraine. And I didn't shower the next day. And my skin still felt soft and smooth and hydrated. So, that was a benefit, I guess. Um, but it does feel nice, but it is definitely tacky and sticky. It sticks to my pajamas sometimes when I put them on afterwards, so I don't love that, but it's very, very efficient, and I like using it after a serum, so no issues with that. Uh, okay, in terms of beneficial ingredients of this one, it's got a short ingredient list, which I guess probably makes it good for sensitive skin. Um, so in terms of beneficial ingredients, so we've got shea butter, Really nice emollient. It's really rich in antioxidants, so it's very good for your skin. It's also super hydrating and gives things kind of a thicker texture. We've got niacinamide, anti-acne and skin uh, brightening ingredient. We've got mineral oil, which is probably what gives it its tackiness. Uh, it's emollient. Mineral oil is slightly controversial due to its refining process. Then we've got rapeseed oil, skin conditioning. Paraffin, another emollient, probably also responsible for the stickiness. We've got dimethicone, dimethiconal emollient. We've got mannose, a humectant. Then we've got vitrolyacilla ferment, which is a probiotic. And then last but not least, we've got tinogard TT, which is an antioxidant and preservative. Uh, okay, in terms of animal testing, La Roche-Posay, obviously not cruelty-free. They're sold in mainland China. It's a bummer. It's disappointing. I can't believe, I can't believe they're all, we, everything's not cruelty-free yet, but anyway. Every time I get something that's not cruelty-free, I'm still always surprised. 
Um, okay, so it's kind of sat, sunk it in so you can see how it feels. I would never use this on my face. Way too thick, way too sticky. Body is fine. I'd never use it on my face. So, uh, okay, in terms of performance, it's very nice. It's a great winter body cream. Uh, again, I couldn't imagine using it on my face. I have that in highlights. I cannot imagine using it on my face. Uh, it's very sticky. It takes a long time for the tackiness to go away. In terms of the promises, it promises to hydrate and relieve dry skin and extra dry skin. Definitely delivers on both of those accounts. Uh, for acne prone skin, it's not very friendly. Um, for acne giant skin, we've got dimethicone, mineral oil, ceteral alcohol, and glycerol stearate. Uh, but of those, mineral oil is very acne genic. So keep that in mind. Um, and then again, at, term, at times, I typically really like to use this over a serum. Before this one, I was using the Necessaire body serum, which was nice, and now I'm just onto this. It works better. It makes it go a little bit further, and uh, it seems to give it a little bit of added moisture. Uh, in terms of the price, so uh, this size is 6.7 ounces. It's 200 milliliters and retails for 18 bucks, so it's not terribly expensive. Although, if you're not going to use it over serum, a little bit does not go a long way, so this won't last very long. I'm just probably going to finish it this week, I would say. It's getting very close to empty. Um, then, in terms of the it factor, it's not a must-have, but it's very nice fragrance-free body cream. Uh, there's a few dupes or alternatives to this one, including the Gold Bond Body Bright Daily Body and Face Lotion, the Vino Tone and Texture Daily Renewing Lotion, the CeraVe Psoriasis Daily Moisture Cream, uh, the Dr. Sam's Flawless Bo Body Cream and the Rare Beauty Find Comfort Body Lotion are all some alternatives or dupes. Um, so anyway, it's, n it's a nice product overall. So with a 10 being a perfect score, this one an 8. It's decent. It's nice. If we're cruelty free, it would be even better. But again, it is super sticky. So I'm surprised this paper isn't coming up with it. Anyway. Uh, okay, interesting from you guys if you had a chance to check this one out yet or not. And if you have what your thoughts are, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.